Today is the day, finally. The fact that VR has gotten to a point where we've gone from this to this is absolutely incredible and gets me super excited for the future of standalone virtual reality headsets. As great as the Quest 2 is, and it is, it's currently impossible to play extremely high fidelity games on its hardware alone, simply because it runs on a modified smartphone processor essentially, and games like Microsoft Flight Simulator, Half-Life Alyx, Boneworks, and many more like them need the power of a VR-ready gaming PC to run the way the developers intended them to. So I decided to build one, and I want to share the process with you, my decisions, and some future plans that this PC will allow me to put into action, so let's go! Hey there, welcome to VR Man Cave, Andy here. Ever since the end of September 2020 when I started this channel and up until about 3 videos ago, I've only had a Dell G5 laptop that has a pretty good configuration and has served me well for editing and testing out PC VR titles so far but I could never really enjoy what high-end titles had to offer and it took me ages to edit and render these videos. I haven't had an actual PC since high school, which was almost 15 years ago. Damn, time really flies, it feels like yesterday and 1 million years ago at the same time. But anyway, having this channel has given me a reason to finally get back to having a proper PC, and I chose to build it from scratch myself since pre-built ones are generally not great in terms of quality versus cost. I've carefully picked out every single part of it and I've honestly been super happy with my choices. I've put Amazon links in the description below for all of the components, so if you're considering building or upgrading your PC, maybe use those links since it would help out the channel immensely and it won't cost you anything extra. Now let's have a look. The motherboard is pretty much the foundation of any good PC and I've gone with an MSI X570 Tomahawk because it's a highly regarded board for a pretty decent price and has great features and thermals and it's a solid choice in my opinion. For the CPU, I went with AMD, specifically the new 5800X, an 8-core 16-thread processor that strikes a fantastic balance between productivity tasks such as photo and video editing and of course gaming, all of which I need for doing everything I do on this channel. When it comes to RAM, I went with two Corsair Vengeance 16 gig sticks for a total of 32 gigs of memory. While for most games 16 gigabytes would have been enough, video editing really benefits from more, so that's why I chose 32. For storage, I'm going with a blazing fast 1TB Samsung EVO 970 M.2 SSD for the operating system and the Adobe Suite cache files as well as a 2TB Seagate hard drive for storing videos, files and games. The case I've chosen to house this whole build is the NZXT H510i in all black. I honestly wanted to get the black red version to match the channel theme but I couldn't find it in stock anywhere, so I settled for the full black one. One specific thing I was looking for is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 on the front to use with Oculus Link since I only have the Quest 2 as a VR headset and using virtual desktop for playing, streaming and recording would have been a bit risky since I currently don't have an Ethernet wire in the man cave and having both the PC and the Quest on Wi-Fi is not ideal so I'm mostly going to use the Oculus Link cable when making content for you guys. For cooling the processor I went with a Noctua NHD15 in all matte black. Since I'm still a bit paranoid about using water cooling, and the D15 seems to have pretty much the same performance as an AIO, and so far I'm super happy with it, and the CPU temperature rarely goes above 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. The power supply is a Corsair RM750 80 Plus Gold one that is fully modular and it's future proof since it's more than I need right now in terms of wattage, so if in the future I upgrade to more power hungry parts I won't need to change this too. When it comes to arguably the most important part of the gaming PC, the graphics card, I went with an MSI RTX 3070 Gaming X Trio, which is pretty much on par with a 2080 Ti from a performance perspective and actually beats it in certain tasks, so it should provide enough horsepower for even the most demanding of VR games. Now it was time for probably the most dreaded part of building this whole PC, 
cable management. But thankfully, it was easier than I thought as this case is very well designed, so I basically just had to snap my fingers and it was done. Not perfect, but good enough for someone who hasn't done this in nearly 15 years. And now, I present to you my new VR-ready gaming PC. Please leave a comment down below and tell me what name you think I should give this build and I'll pick one from your suggestions. I've paired this PC with an LG 27 GL850 144Hz 1440p monitor that I've recently put on a monitor arm to make it easier to move it sideways so that I can read your comments during live streams without turning away. I've tested out a bunch of VR and non-VR games on it and everything runs buttery smooth and I haven't had even one single hiccup since I got it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below because as most of you already know, I answer every single comment I get. Now, obviously having this PC means I'll be able to make the videos a lot better. And you might have noticed that the last three videos have all been uploaded in 4K resolution. Since I can now comfortably edit larger and crisper videos and also test out and play more PC VR titles too. And I've also gotten an Elgato HD 60S Plus 4K capture card to help me capture awesome gameplay content for you guys and girls. I've recently done a few polls and a lot of you said that you'd like me to make PC VR content too and also do a VR let's play series so stick around because I'm already working on it. Consider subscribing if you think you'd enjoy that. I'm still going to make my regular videos too so hopefully I'll be able to make as many of you happy as possible. One other thing that I want to do more of is play games with you guys and girls. That said please consider joining my discord server to make it easier for all of us to schedule play sessions together. I'd really like to play some Phasmophobia and other titles with you live on the channel. So I look forward to chatting with as many of you as possible on Discord. This is still just the beginning for VR Man Cave and there are a ton of awesome videos coming your way really soon. But for now, if you still have time to hang out, consider choosing either this suggestion or this one to watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Stay safe and enjoy VR. Cheers!